The 500 pound second hand club challenge. Let's do it. And let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your very first time watching my content, first of all, welcome. Second of all, please make sure you don't leave before you hit that subscribe button below. On this channel, I bring you guys golf-related content every single day, hopefully to help you raise your game, help you lower that handicap, but mainly just to get you enjoying golf loads more. In today's video, I'm gonna stop waving this 500 pound around and I'm gonna spend it on some second-hand clubs. We are at Golf Clubs for Cash, just outside of Edinburgh. How are we doing? How are we doing, Murray? Okay. Yeah, I'm good, thanks, James. And Murray's going to help us out with a couple of golf clubs. So if you've not already seen, I'm going to give you that back for now, because it might get in the way. We've already seen, Mark, yep. you've chosen. I've chosen. So we're not going to ruin it for people. If you, do, if you do want to see that, you were bang on budget, weren't you? 500 on, pound on the nose. Yep. I don't mean to sound, I think I'm under, but disparaging. disparaging. I don't mean to sound disparaging. Can't spell that, but we'll go with it. But I'm under budget. I think I am anyway. You can't add up. <laughs> <laughs> also guys, if you do want to be in with a chance of winning a 500 pound voucher right here at Golf Clubs for Cash, then make sure you like this video. You have to be a subscriber also, and hit those comments, clubs, C-L-U-B-S, clubs, and the draw on that will be made on the Golf Clubs for Cash Facebook page. And I mean, I do have to say, Mark's proven it, I've proven it. You can get a pretty good set of golf clubs for 500 pounds. Okay guys, so in Mark's video, he started top end of the bag and that, that surprised me because for me, we're playing golf at Dunbar tomorrow and I think it's gonna be won and lost on and around the greens personally. So I'm gonna start bottom end of the bag. We're gonna start putter, then we're gonna go wedges, then irons, then three wood, then driver, work our way right to the top of the bag. And for me, the driver actually isn't the most important club, whereas Mark seemed to think that it was one of the most important clubs. So putters, now I had a lot of fun looking at putters because I think as I said in, in the video for Mark's clubs, I change my putters more often than I do my socks or I say my pants, but mum won't be very happy with that. So socks we'll go with. We've got putters from every range you could ever wish for, which is absolutely fantastic. If, if money wasn't an option, this is the one I'd have gone for. This is a Scotty Cameron Select Fastback. It's obviously had a nice little paint job, and to me, that looks absolutely beautiful, but I do think, Murray, this might have kind of wiped out my budget a bit, but... I would say so if we're sticking to sticking 500, to 500 yeah. I've got a question for you, James. Go on. How many putters do you think we have around the screen? How many bags are there? There must be 50, must be 150 bags. 50 bags, how many putters would you say? 600. There's just over 600 oh, putters around I the guess. screen. What about what that? Guess. That so is, you're spoilt for choice. There must be something here for you. There is, and I'm gonna stop beating around the bush. I'm gonna put this expensive putter back very softly because it's not mine. Uh, and I've actually, oh, what's this? I've not seen this one. Which is that? Oh, I thought I might have been changing them, but we're not. See, I changed my putters that often. I haven't even got it yet. So I, that's a belly putter. <laughs> I've gone for this one. <coughs> The Seymour, Zach Johnson, Masters winning putter. I don't think he won the Open. Did he win the Open with this one as well? Yes, I think he I did. Think he, I think he potentially did, yeah. Did so this is the first look in my bag. It's 84.95, and it's also got the P2 grip on it, which I used early part of last season. So let's see if we can haul the first one of these, which I think potentially could all day. Got a bit. No problem. There you go, Mark's in trouble already. 84.95. I'm, I'm very, very happy with this one. I love the black shaft in here as well. I think it looks brilliant. So that is my number one club. Perfect, thank you. There you go, thank you. Next up, I'm not going to say I'm going to hit every green at Dunbar because I played it and potentially I'm not going to hit a green on Dunbar. So wedges, wedges is a very important factor. And we've shown quite a few different ones, obviously in Mark's video as well. I'm going to show you this one again because it kept drawing to my eye and I mean, as you all know, Man United, they're not having a great time, but the fact that you can pick something like this up second hand is absolutely brilliant. So unfortunately, that is a little bit over budget, so we'll put it back. And for me, my favorite club is always a lob wedge in my bag. And I found this, and I honestly can't believe the price of this. So this is a Callaway Mac Daddy 
what is it, a Mac Daddy 2. Callaway Mac Daddy 2 R Design Tor Grind Wedge. It is beautiful and rusted, and as you know, you pay a premium for that now, don't you? So it's got the wedge shaft in it, and that's coming in at 40 quid. 40 quid. Now, I'm not overly keen on the grip, but it is a new grip. And that's, I think, when you're buying second-hand clubs, something which I'd always look for, it may not be the grip you want, but you're better off with a new grip that's new, as opposed to a good grip that's really old and a bit loose. So Absolutely. The grip's slightly bigger as well. It's a yeah. mid-sized grip, so if that suits you, I think that'll be I think perfect it for you. it potentially would. I'm happy with that. That is the lob wedge in the bag. Super, thank, thank you very much. Now, gap wedge. I'm only going to go two wedges because I don't want to over, over or it. I think sometimes people can go five wedges in the bag and it's just too much. So I've gone with a 52 degree. Where is it? Can I say as well, I was drawn to, where was it? There's some Mura wedges in here, or Vegas even. Look at those. I mean, again, if you're looking for something which is a little bit different. That's 84.99, but that is a Mura forged wedge. So they've got everything here, haven't they, really, when you think about it. But I went for this bad boy, reason being, 52 degree. It's, I think it's John Letters, that, is it John Letters? That's the John Letters one. JL, yeah, it's not Jalen Berg, is it? <laughs> John Letters. And to be honest, I went for it, just because, again, the grip's quite good. And looking down at it, it looks exactly like a Vokey, but not for the price. So I'm quite happy with that with that there. Also, it's rusty again, so I'm kind of matching the rust element in the bag. So they do look very, very similar, actually. So should be fine. Yeah, how much is that one? That's That one is 29 99 So, I mean, for the, for the full wedge budget, I'm doing quite well there. I think it's time to look at some irons, Mark, isn't it? It, it sounds it, yes. I think it is. Yes. To be honest, we've been, what time is it now? It's, it's 10 past five now, we've got here at two o'clock. And we're just filming this because we've been looking around. Oh, you see, you remember these, you remember these? It is a massive trip down memory lane, which just, yeah, don't know what to say there, to be fair, so we'll just carry on. And obviously you all, we all know that I've just moved in some Mizuno irons. Well, more Mizuno irons. And I honestly thought I was gonna get Mark out here because you can imagine the big part of our budget is gonna be irons. We've got 500 pound. If you can get a good set of irons from maybe under 200, that's going to help you out. And I saw these and I thought the grips aren't bad. Mizuno Tor Proven. Take a look at those. They even go up to a one iron as well. So you imagine if we're playing Link style golf, they would have been perfect. They were 54.95, but they've got R300s in them. They're going to be too soft. Exactly. Yeah. The heads would have been absolutely perfect. The price was incredible. If I'd have got them, I could have got a real good driver. I've got a good driver, that's coming up. But I could have got an even better driver. Unfortunately, just not the right shaft. So I'll put those back in a second. Now you may remember that James said that the important bit would be around the greens. But he's just said if he'd bought a cheaper set of irons, he'd have gone for a really expensive driver. I said important bit, Mark, not fun bit. We all like spending money on a driver, don't we? Let's get that right. Everyone wants a nice new driver. Now, another set of irons that I looked at is actually a set I've played before, but when you think you're doing a challenge like this and you get to, to play different golf clubs, even if it's just for one round, I don't see why you would play a golf club or golf clubs that you've already played before. I, I, just don't, I don't really see the point in that, to be fair, but... <laughs> so I was going to go with these. I was going to go Titleist, MB Forged, so I played those uh, in my assistant pro days and they have X100s in them, brand new grips near enough, but they were just a little bit over budget for what I wanted, 180 quid. So, so they're going to go back in there. Big fan of Titleist irons though, I must say. And look at the range we've got there. So in the end with irons, I did decide on tailor-made irons, primarily because I think in the era that I was looking at, Taylor made made some really, really good irons. Remember the TP Rangers? So I went for, if I can find them again, here. Look at these. And again, I've gone with the grips as well. They, they don't look like they've been used at all. Shafts, S300, 149 pound. I think there's a three iron in there as well. Exactly, we're even going up to three iron. We're playing Lynx Golf, it could be windy tomorrow going to be windy tomorrow. So. This three iron could prove an absolute beast and it means I don't have to spend money on a hybrid. So so we have got that. So Perfect. They're, they're going Take in them. the bag. I'm looking forward to playing those actually. Yeah, I actually played as well with 
Where are those bladed versions of them? These. I played these in the smoke finish because I'm just a blade. I'm going to say blade. <laughs> um, I've played a lot of blades in my time and these were so difficult to go on with. I had them in the smoke finish, Project X 6.0 shaft, and even had the yellow and black multi compounds on them, just like Garcia had. I've never hit it like Garcia did, unfortunately, so they didn't last that long, but they're going back in there. They are the irons. What have we got left now? We're looking for a fairy wood and a driver. So I'm just going to have a look at these PXG ones because I'm sure. Uh, James, have you not got a £500 budget? Yeah, but. What about the bag? <laughs> Even the bag is worth more than that. Okay. So, three wood. You were thinking maybe something a bit classic, something a wee bit older? Yeah, you see, I, I don't, again, I think with three woods, it's, if you look down at it and you like, you like the look of it, you like the, the feel of it. And I'm going to go back on what I've said now, I've just realised, because I have owned this club before. I've been giving Mark some right stick for that as well, so... Um, yes, I, you I, take I, a look at it, because he's really had a go at my putter. Come into, come into the corner, Mark, where you see where all the, all the classics here. are. Uh, I'm going to let James go into the corner on his own. I might not come back from here, to be fair. I think this was the one. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's even cheaper. You can't change your driver. selection. Sorry. No. I wasn't okay. allowed to. You did change your selection with the wedge. Mr. Personalization. Uh, well, you changed it. This was the one. Head cover I can forgive because get ready. We all remember them, don't we? How good were they? And this shaft, who does it? Comment below, who does this shaft remind you of? Who does it remind anyone else of? Oh, I can't remember. Uh, Harrington? Adam or? Scott. Adam Scott. Adam Scott played, I think he still might play this shaft actually now. This is a Titleist 15 degree. It's not a left hander though. Adam Scott's not left handers. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not, sorry. No. <laughs> this is a Titleist 906 F2 in 15 degrees. It has the Proforce V2 fairway shaft in it, and it is an 85 gram, no, it is a 90 gram, a 90 gram stiff shaft. And I can't wait to play some low bullets with this at Dunbar. This, this is going to be what sends Mark down, I think, in the match. I'll put it out there now, I've said it. So, so it has to happen, doesn't it? That's the three we're done. So, so all that. we've got left now is the money side of the bag, the big dog. What did you go for, driver-wise? Oh, we can't say, can we? We can't say because go, if you want to go, if you want to see what Mark's got, go watch the video. This is one that, to be honest, I, st I think I might wish that I still went for this one. Look at that. Titleist 913 D3. It's a seven and a half head, so if it is windy tomorrow, Brilliant, Torque Prototype Biomatrix X Flex, Bubba Watson. But I think I might get found out with that. Well, James, yeah. you've got £155 left in your budget, so it depends. It would have been under. It would have been under budget. Right. But you're not going to play with that, are you? Because it's bright orange. You've got a bright pink shirt on. <laughs> but that's me. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bit personal. I apologise for that. I'm, you know what, if it was seven and a half, I'm not going to be able to launch it. I'm going to go, no, that was a decision just made there and then. But that is a, I, I, you know what, if I was a junior again, I'd buy that just for the sake of having it, I think. Yeah. Surely the shaft's worth more than that anyway, but that's your business, not mine. <laughs> um, and the other one, which me and Mark both fought over, but now neither of us are actually using, was again a bit of a bright shaft in that Hazardous 6 Low Spin yeah. Project X M2 head. Ten and a half, which to be honest put me off because again it's going to be windy tomorrow, and it's two hundred quid. So just, just to be, too expensive. Just to be over budget, but that for our budget, that look. I might take the shaft off you to be fair. Will that go in? Then we'll talk. We'll talk. <laughs> <laughs> so you can go back on there, and in the end, I went for this. did you go for an M? Was it an M one original? M one original. We'll get ready for the party piece. Uh oh. 4.30 head, low spin. He's off his head. 4.30 head. 4.30 head, low spin. Stiff shaft. This is the Aldilla, what is it? Aldilla 70 gram stiff shaft. And to me, the only reason why this is at the price point it is, so this is 139 quid. And the only reason is because of that there. There's a tiny mark on there. I can deal with that all day long. I've lent drivers to Mark before and they come back a lot worse than that. 
untrue. <laughs> so, there's the driver. I'm gonna go for that. So that leaves you 15 pounds under budget. So well done. 15 pound, hold on. 15 pound, so Yorkshireman. 15, if there's 15 pound in the budget, okay. what can I get for 15 pound? What can you get for 15 pounds? To be honest, James, you're not gonna get many clubs for under 15 pounds here. Is there anything you could get? Oh, I've got just the thing. Just the thing. That putter of yours. This is what you're gonna need for tomorrow. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's we'll what he's gonna that need up. tomorrow for his one. Uh, unfortunately, we, <laughs> we've sold out the England ones up here. But it has got a nice, is that a ball mark on there, isn't yeah. it? It has got a nice ball mark on it, so we'll take that. Here you go, you can take that. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thrilled That's a shame. There. I was hoping he was going to get a club and have, <laughs> and have too many in his bag. <laughs> Why is the 14 there? I don't know. I, just... So, guys, that is my what's in the bag for the 500 well. For the 480, oh no, we've got the head cover, didn't we? So that is my what's in the bag for the 500 pound secondhand club challenge. If you want to know what's in Mark's bag, make sure you go check out that video before watching the big game at Dunbar tomorrow. I'm eyeing him up as, as we say in this. I'm trying to, trying to unsettle him a bit. I'm also going to take him for 15 pints later, so that might have something to do with the outcome. But guys, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed that. Make sure you go check out golfclubsforcash.co.uk. There are some pretty special things on here. If you dig deep enough, you find some absolute gems. I know I'm really happy with what I've found. I know, Mark, you're, you're pretty he happy. He found me an absolute gem. I picked you up in the middle of Edinburgh. I didn't find you here. <laughs> Also, guys, if you do want to be with a chance of winning that £500 voucher for Golf Clubs for Cash, everyone's ears perked up in the shop then. If you do want to be in a chance of winning that voucher, please make sure you do like this video. You have to be a subscriber. But then again, I don't know why it won't be because we bring you golf related content every single day. And you just have to comment below clubs, C L U B S clubs, and the draw for that will be made on the Golf Clubs for Cash Facebook page. So you might want to go follow them as well. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you do tune in and see how we get on at Dunbar because that's going to be a pretty epic game. And as always, We'll see you tomorrow.